Hey there guys, it's Jesse, and today, my guild and I managed to get in some time on one of the new Firelands raid bosses, Lord Ryolith. Much like the previous boss we tried, the Spider Bethtalak, this boss has a lot of mechanics issues to still work out, but for what it was, it seemed like a pretty cool concept. When you first engage Ryolith, he will only have a small amount of health by raid standards, we're talking like 15 million HP, but his legs each have around 7.5. I'm not sure how it all factors in together, but I can tell you this, it seemed like he was redistributing the health between his legs and his body, so either his legs make up his body health, or it's all connected, I'm not really sure about that yet. The major thing here though, is Obsidian Armor, which buffs the boss at the start of the fight, decreasing your damage on him by 80%. Now, you'll notice there's a meter on the screen, and while I'm pretty sure it's a temp one, the idea is that the boss attacks you moving around really, really slowly, and if you hit his feet, it changes the direction he moves. Now, this meter is supposed to tell you which direction he's going towards, and you're supposed to keep him from going too far in one direction, because if he goes too far, he'll hit the lava, and if he hits the lava, he explodes onto all of you and wipes the rain. So you need to keep him moving around the platform by turning him so he doesn't hit the outside area. The biggest issue we found, though, is his turning rate is so slow. If you try to, like, make a quick cut and turn or uh, whack his leg a bunch and think he's going to move really fast, he won't. He takes his time moving. And so every turn you make, you have to go, like, at a right angle and another right angle and turn it 90 degrees and another 90 degrees to make a uh, circle, which is insane. But hopefully they'll fix that mechanic. Or maybe it's meant to be that way and it's supposed to take a long time to move him. Anyway, what we figured out is if we could put two rogues on one leg the entire fight and just have them whack at it repeatedly, it would essentially move him in one circular direction around the platform, and it worked for a little bit, but eventually the circle would get like way too wide and he'd end up in the lava, or the circle would start out wide originally, and so we'd track like right into the lava right away. It did not end well for us. And unfortunately, that's not all this boss fight entails. There's volcanoes and ad spawns you have to watch out for. Now, as far as I could tell, there were three or four different types of volcanoes during this fight that either buff his damage or remove his armor buff, depending on which one you have him walk over. During the fight, several inactive volcanoes will spawn, and if you run the boss over them, he gains two molten armor, increasing his damage. But they will be crushed, opening up, creating a new type of volcano that if he walks over it again, the boss will lose 10% of his armor buff. But these open volcanoes will spit out lava and... and flaming rocks and all sorts of stuff you have to avoid. There's another type of volcano that spawns that sort of is a, a pillar, and it shoots out tendrils of fire in a star pattern shape. And if the boss walks over this, he loses one stack of its damage buff. But, again, when he steps on it, it becomes a pool of lava, and if he walks over it again, he gets two stacks back. So as you can tell, moving him around is a rather difficult task. And at the same time, there are two types of ad spawning. These little fragments that explode after 30 seconds but can easily be AoE down, and then something called sparks that do a massive AoE damage that increases over time. Melee need to stay out of that thing, only ranged could handle it, or we weren't damaging it fast enough, I'm not sure which. So basically with the volcanoes and the adds, this fight just comes down to control and pathing him around. It's probably best to have a set path to walk him on, but from what we could tell, it, it seemed kind of difficult to do that. But, I will say this, from the several attempts we got in, it doesn't seem like this fight is too hard, you just need to practice it. He does have a phase 2 at 25%, but as far as we could tell, it was just a DPS race to the end, and you really just had to ensure a good transition. All in all, it seems like a pretty interesting fight, but I think I can safely say this will be the one that everyone takes down first. It doesn't seem that hard, you just need to practice and practice, and eventually you'll get it. Anyway, that's it guys, thanks for watching, thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, to be continued.